Hey friends, it's Missy with the Shimmers Education Team, and I'm back with a new layout for this month. Remember when you're shopping for your shimmers at shimmerspaints.com, if you mention my name in the comments section when you check out, then you can get a mini surprise freebie paint to try, so don't forget about that. I'm going to be using the Pink Paisley Summer Lights collection for my layout today. I've had it for a few weeks and just have not had the opportunity to bust into it. And I'm in the mood to create something summery. And I've picked out four colors that I'm going to use. These are four of the newest colors from Shimmers, and I'll talk about those when I get to them. But I'm going to scrap this picture of me. It's a recent picture. I was uh, in Las Vegas with my husband out by the pool having a fruity drink. And it just felt so tropical and summery. I just had to take a selfie and I love the colors in that picture. So now when I look at that picture, I see my sunglasses. And so I wanted to recreate the sunglasses. So before I get to my shimmers, I want to make some shiny sunglasses and I'm going to use some of my Thermoweb deco foil to do this. Now, some of you have asked me about um, Thermoweb products where you don't have to use the laminator and this is something that is perfect for that. These basically are self-adhesive sticky sheets and I have found a cut file for those sunglasses and I got that from the Silhouette store and all I'm doing is tracing the lenses on this paper and I'm going to cut them out and then you peel off one side and you stick it down and then you peel off the other side and it's nice and sticky and then you just stick the foil right on top of it so i'm going to show you how i do that now you can also run this through a die cutting machine but i didn't think that far ahead so i'm just doing it the old-fashioned way here so i've cut it out and i've peeled off one side it was kind of hard to get the sticky off because i didn't leave myself a little spot there so i had to really dig at it but so now they're sticky and all i'm doing is taking my foil and sticking it on rubbing my fingers over it peeling it off and ta-da, it's that easy, really, it's awesome. So I wanted the gold mirror glasses to mimic the glasses that I'm wearing in the picture. And so I'm just gonna paper piece this cut file together. And honestly, I should have used some smooth cardstock, but I used some old textured cardstock, the back of it I had done some mixed media on, and so they were, it was kind of wrinkled, I guess. And so the uh, lenses are very textured but I actually like the way that looks so I'm gonna take the background of the sunglasses and kind of make those gold as well I'm using inklings in minor minor 49er it's a very pretty shimmery light gold color and the more you add to it the darker it will get but I just want to have something around the edges before I glue the lens down you can see how they kind of just look like scratched up lenses and I think that looks kind of cool. If I would have used fresh cardstock, I think it would have been a lot smoother. But, you know, you learn as you go. And I actually like the texture. Now, this is the background paper I'm going to use. And that's from the Summer Lights collection. And I'm going to jazz it up with all those shimmers that I showed you earlier. And so I'm going to take some acrylic paint because I want to white out a lot of the middle part of this, of this paper. And don't worry, you're still going to be able to see all the beautiful ombre yellow to pink but the um, acrylic paint is going to give me a quicker and faster coverage than gesso. So what I'm going to do here is what I usually do. I'm just going to use the packaging technique here with these creamies. And the pink color that I'm using is one of the new ones, and it's called One Hot Mama. And I think it is the most beautiful pink color. It's quickly become one of my favorites, and I think it is so pretty. And if you remember the creamies, they are going to leave you some sparkle and give you a satiny finish, but with some sparkle to it. And so they're just gorgeous. And uh, the purple color is called purple peony, like the flower. And then the yellow golden color there is dandelion. And I don't wind up using the green color, but just for the record, it's called Jolly Green Giant. But these colors match this collection perfectly. I love that there's some purple mixed in there. So I was excited to pull out some purple paint. And I'm just going to try to use some purple on the right, a lot of pink in the middle, and some of the yellow on the left. Just to pull out all of the colors that I'm going to add into it with this collection. And I'm, I'm using the brush. I'm using the plastic. I'm just doing some splattering. And... I love how this is looking. The white acrylic paint sort of acts as a barrier and toughens up the paper and it does not allow the liquid to soak right through. And gesso does the same thing. It's just a different texture and if when I'm using it to cover this much, 
I wanted to um, use the the paint instead. And it's going to give me a smoother finish, whereas gesso is going to be a little bit more gritty. At least the, the gessos that I've used. I usually use the Liquitex brand, and I haven't really branched out and tried anything else because it always works okay for me. So this is kind of dry. You can see that yellow is very shimmery, but it's also got this really pretty satin finish. You can see that on the purple and the pink a lot better because it's more dry. But I love how this is looking, and so I'm going to kind of put those sunglasses in as a big background design element at a tilted angle. And now I'm going to start to play with the embellishments. Everything is so cute. I love the holographic uh, shine on so many of the, the die cuts and the chipboard there. But I just realized that I've used gold on the sunglasses. And so the holographic is more of a silver. And at first I was like, eh, I don't really want to mix and match that. But it doesn't even really wind up mattering in the end. I am going to use this sticker here that says Vacation Vibes, and that's going to serve as my title. And it just sort of perfectly blends in with the, the creamies that I've got going on in the background. I love using shimmers to create backgrounds. I think I use shimmers on just about every single project that I make. Uh, highly recommend them. Um, I would not recommend something that I don't use a lot and if you follow me then you know I <laughs> I love me some shimmers I use them all the time and uh, I definitely stand behind them because they are gorgeous and always get a good result with them the colors are always stunning and the finishes are always just beautiful so I know that those sunglasses are shiny I hope the glare isn't too bad um, but that's the nature of foil and when I'm dealing with sunglasses there I just had to have that foil look I think it looks so cool. So now I'm going to start to work on putting everything where it needs to go. I'm going to add a little bit of tissue paper behind my picture there just to give it a little subtle messy layer. And I decided that I wanted to pop the sunglasses up. So I'm going to add some fun adhesive foam or fun foam, adhesive foam, whatever you want to call it. It's kids art foam and it works perfectly. It's the perfect width for dimension, I think. So I'm going to have everything at an angle. Well, not everything, but the sunglasses are going to be at an angle. And then my photo is going to be at an angle. Even though the lines in the background paper are perfectly straight, I didn't even really care about that. Um, I mainly use that background paper because of the colors. And I thought it was just the perfect match for everything. So I'm going to go through the 6x6 paper pad and pull out a couple of sheets for layering behind the picture. I did want to add in a little bit of the aqua, aqua color um, because it is in the collection and it's in several of the embellishments that I'm going to use. And so I just add a touch of it here and there, but I don't wind up adding any of that color to my background. And I'm going to tuck that really cute summer scripty sticker up there at the top and I am going to wind up overlapping a couple things on top of the sunglasses but not too much definitely be able to see the shine from those look how pretty and shiny that is I mean this whole collection looks foiled and in and in itself it's so different and so pretty and the good thing about the holographic shine is that it looks a different color and, you know, different lights. It reminds me of an oil slick. You know, you can kind of see a rainbow in it whenever you tilt it in the right light. So this is another 12 by 12 paper from this collection. And I just decided to fussy cut out four of these hot pink hearts just to pull in a little bit more of that color around the page. And they match my fruity drink. I wish I had one right now because I would surely drink it up. I really like how this is coming together. I really wanted to use that little rainbow and I do find a home for it later. I keep coming back to the sticker sheet and the chipboards. Now I wasn't at the beach. I was literally at the pool at the Aria in Vegas and so I didn't want to use anything that was you know beach please or beach vibes or anything like that because I wasn't at the beach um, but it was a fun sunny day and I was at the pool but I've got 
plenty of beach pictures that I want to scrap with this collection and I will have all those beachy things to use for that. So I decided to do a little bit of stitching off camera and I used metallic gold thread and it worked for me this time. My sewing machine was on its best behavior and I just did a little bit of straight stitching at the top and the bottom, a little bit of zigzag there just to give it a little bit of shine, a little bit of added texture and you can see it a lot better in person of course because it kind of, you know, it's not really a bold color. It doesn't stand out against that background. So to add in some of the blue color or the aqua color, I'm going to use some thread and I'm going to use that up at the top there before I glue down that heart and the rainbow. And I love tucking things in like I'm doing there, overlapping and tucking underneath. Such a fun technique and it gives you such great depth and dimension. Now this is a purple thread. I just happen to have a purple thread that matched this collection. I was so excited because purple is one of those colors that there's so many different shades of it and it's almost impossible to get it exactly right but it just matched so it was, it, everything went my way on this day except for my thread here. The metallic thread is a pain in the you know what to loop up and make it look like a messy bunch because it's just it wants to stay straight because of the nature of I guess how it's made with the metallic aspect and it does not want to loop up so I had to really pitch a little fit and then redo it and then all was well when I finally glued it down. So I'm kind of come back in over here to the right and add a little bit more of the blue so that's going to give me another little pop of blue to kind of pull from the blue paper behind the picture and then I'm going to create a little cluster down here at the bottom just with some die cuts and some stickers. I really wanted to use those little sunglasses again so I'm going to use those down there at the bottom. That's actually what inspired me when I first pulled out this collection I saw those little bitty sunglasses and then I remembered this photo of me and then I thought of my gold foil and it all just sort of came together. I was like yep that's what I'm going to do. It's interesting how sometimes you just feel like you can't get inspired for anything in the world and then other times you see one little thing and a whole idea comes to you. And that's what happened. And this layout actually came together pretty quickly for me because I'm pretty slow. And so um, yeah, I was excited that, is, that this all came together pretty nicely. So I'm going to come back in with the gold, the minor minor 49er and add some more splatters just to echo the gold that I've got going on in there. And then I'm going to add a few more stickers. That one says Oh Snap right there in the middle and you can see the holograph on it. It's, you can see the different colors right there. It looks kind of like a rainbow. And then I'm going to add that Cursive Love sticker and add a little bit of journaling down there at the bottom. And that's it. Now I've got two close-ups. Check this out. Just depending on the light. There's that close-up. The, the lenses look dark and then when I turn it and get it in another angle, the lenses are light. So that's the beauty of the deco foil. It depends on how you look at it. And I try to photograph it as best I can. Uh, but I love how it looks with the shimmers in the background. I love the mixing and matching of the products like this. I just think it really makes the background shine while making the products, other products and embellishments shine at the same time. So I hope you guys like this. It was such a fun layout to make. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about any of the shimmers. Like I said, I use mostly all creamies and one inklings today. And they are so much fun to play with. Great, great products. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Have a great week.